I honestly believe discipline is freedom. I want to hear about that. When you have discipline, you get what you want. When you don't have discipline, you do not get any of what you want. So you're free to live your dream. You're free to do the things that you love. And then you start to come to love the discipline. And then when you don't have the discipline, that's when the anxiety sets in because you know you're not paying the price. And if you don't pay the price, you get nothing. So you got to pay the price and then you have to have discipline and then the world is open to you. Yo, 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 what up YouTube? Welcome to CN Take, man. My name is Jay CN. Coming back with another one. And as y'all can see, we coming live from the Rose Garden, man. Take a look at it. Take a look at it, man. We got another beautiful day out here. So y'all already know. I gotta thank the Most High for waking me up this morning and giving me another opportunity to be great. And I wanna send a big shout out to my brother and my ancestors resting peacefully, you heard? I love y'all. I love y'all, man, look at that, look at that. Sun is up, sun is shining, sky, you know, clear, you know what I mean? And we out here, yeah, yeah. Backdrop check, backdrop check, y'all know where we at, man. Y'all know where we at, man. Stop playing, man. Yeah, yeah. But I just wanted to come holler at y'all on this first break, man. You know, and show y'all that clip posted by Elena Cardone. You know, uh, with uh, Venus Williams. Shout out to Venus Williams, man. You know, that was real, you know. And, you know, she absolutely right, bro. When you have discipline, the world will open up for you. You know, and we starting to realize that now being on this journey and putting up this fight, you know, and trying to get right, bro, you know, and what we have to realize is that, man, listen, bro, you know, we are our own worst enemy at the end of the day. You know, a lot of times people like to point the finger at the government. People like to point the finger at these women. You know, people like to point the finger at so many other things except they self. You know, and with that mentality, when you got that mentality, you never going to heal. You never going to get right because we have the power to make real change, you know, and it starts with discipline. It starts in the spirit. You know what I mean? You know, it start with being real with yourself and understanding like, look, you know, I'm doing this to myself at the end of the day. I control what I eat. I control the things that I watch, you know, so, you know, I control my actions, you know, so pointing the finger at the white man, pointing the finger at the system, pointing the finger at the matrix, pointing the finger at your job, pointing the finger at these women, you know, it could only get you so far, bro. You know what I'm saying? It could only get you so far pointing the finger at everything else, bro. But when you realize that you have that power, you know, the power to change anything in your life. You know, listen, bro, you know, it will change everything because now it's like, yo, you know, that gives you the edge because now you're going to see like, you know, these weaknesses that I have, bro. Listen, it's not getting me nowhere. These weaknesses that I have, you know, guess what? With some discipline, with some work, you know, I could get stronger in these areas. You know what I'm saying? But it's going to take work. You know, a lot of people want things the easy way and they're not willing to put in the work, you know, so they always looking for a shortcut, bro. But, you know, it really just, you know, it has to be us just staying disciplined out here. You know what I mean? Because we fighting and battling, you know, with ourselves, we battling demons. You know what I'm saying? We battling principalities and high places. You know what I'm saying? You know, those things, listen, at the end of the day, that's when we got the most high. That's when we got the word to help us through, you know. But other than that, we still got to do our part. You know, like I always tell y'all, we got to do our part, bro. You know, we're staying disciplined, we're staying focused, we're staying committed. You know, we're staying obedient to the most high's word and trusting in him. You know what I'm saying? And guess what, bro? He going to give us that power. You know, through the Hamashiach, he going to give us that strength. You know, that Philippians 4 and 13. I can do all things through Mashiach, which strengtheneth me. We get that strength from Christ. Understand that. You know, so when you stay prayed up, when you repenting, you know, when you asking the Most High to cast away them demons and all of that, cast away any, 
you know, you know, anything that's just been weighing you down in the spirit, you know, and asking him to, you know, help you through these situations that we're going through. Listen, bro, you're going to be OK at the end of the day, you know, because you realize like, yo, like a lot of this stuff, you know, it's on me. It falls on me. So I got to do what I got to do. You know what I'm saying? And guess what? The most high going to fight them battles for you in the spiritual realm. You know, he going to send he going to send them angels to fight them battles for you in the spiritual realm. And you're not going to have to worry about them attacks like that. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to have to worry about them urges like that. You know, you're not going to have to worry about them wicked ones, you know, like that. You're not going to have to worry about them. And then, you know, you can focus on the things that you need to do, you know, but when you when you let that wickedness in, you know, when you let them demons in, when you around or when you on that, you know, playing in the dark and you on that broad path and listen, it's going to be hard for you to focus. It's going to be hard for you to de- stay disciplined, bro. Why do you think we have to get on this journey, bro? Because when you lusting and all of that stuff, bro, it's hard for you to stay disciplined. When you in your flesh all the time, bro, it's hard for you to stay disciplined. When you out in this world, bro, it's hard for you to it's hard for you to stay disciplined. They do that on purpose, bro. Don't you know that? Why you think they keep all types of food in our face? Why you think they always promoting drama, negativity? You know what I'm saying? Why you think they promote so much fear, bro, that got you out here full of anxiety and all of that? Why you think they do that? Because they don't want you to be disciplined, bro. They don't want the world to open up to you. They want to close it off. You know, and how do they close off the world to you? By making you not disciplined, by making you addicted, by making you out of shape, by making you unhealthy, by 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 having you out here on social media wanting to live everybody else's life except yours. They don't want you to know your power, bro. <laughs> they don't want you to have a relationship with the most high. They don't want you to know who you are. They don't want you to know who you are. So when you don't know who you are, you don't know your identity, then what you going what do you have? You have nothing because you lost. You have nothing because you can't see. And when you can't see, listen, bro, how you gonna be? You definitely ain't gonna be disciplined. You definitely ain't gonna be focused. You definitely ain't gonna be locked in. You know what I'm saying? All you're gonna be doing is locked in on the sin, bro. That's it. You know what I mean? And when you locked in with the sin, bro, listen, dog. You fall clo- you fall you fall lower and lower, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because you just gonna be conforming to this world and doing everything and accepting anything, bro. You're gonna be doing everything and accepting anything that they have to offer you, bro. You know, and ain't nothing disciplined about it. You know, I used to live that lifestyle, bro. So guess what? I was drinking all the liquor. I was smoking all the bud. I was popping all the pills. I was jumping in them hoes. You know what I'm saying? And you know, guess what, bro? All that did was left me on the flows, bro. Because I guess what, man? I couldn't get up. You know what I mean? Because, because listen, bro, I wasn't in this light. I didn't want to get right, you know? So understand, bro, you ain't going to never be that. That's, you know, you ain't going to be disciplined, bro, living like that, man. You know, so we just got to stay focused, bro. To understand that we got to, you know, we got to keep battling. We got to keep battling, man. You know, this been a tough, this been a tough year. A lot of y'all going through it. Y'all feel the energy in the air. Y'all feel it with me. You know what I'm saying? But understand, bro, we are not alone. <laughs> That's what I had to get. Because a lot of times, man, you just get so down on yourself, man. You know, but you got to realize, bro, you are not alone. Satan wants you to think that you alone, but it's a lot of us brothers going through it, you know, and shout out to the brothers that's out here staying strong. Shout out to the brothers that's out here still enduring. You know what I'm saying? Because guess what, bro? You know, we motivate. We motivate each other at the end of the day, you know, and it's commendable to keep on chucking while you're going through some things, man. You know, because there's a lot of people that's folding. You know, and succumbing to the injuries, bro. It's a lot of people that's not healing, but getting worse. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, if you still able to fight, you know what I mean? If you still keeping the most high in your sight, you know, if you still on your purpose, you know, if you still on this journey, you know what I'm saying? If you still on your mission, then guess what, bro? You big blessed, man. 
and you ain't gonna be missing, man. You ain't gonna be missing. You still on your mission. It ain't. You ain't gonna be missing, bro, because you going through that fire. You know what I'm saying? You not running from the fire, bro. You know how many people running from the smoke? You know what I mean? You know how many people running from the smoke? You know how many people running from the struggle? You know, you know how many people running from the resistance? You know how many people running from discipline? You know, you'll be surprised, bro. It's a lot of people that's running from this struggle. You know what I'm saying? But I always tell y'all, bro, we got to embrace these times because this is where the real men are made. This is where kings are made. You know what I'm saying? This is where legends are made. You know what I'm saying? You know, it remind me when I used to watch Spartacus. You know what I'm saying? I used to watch Spartacus, man. You know, and, uh, you know, when he was in the house of Badiatis, you know, Spartacus was being hard headed. You know what I'm saying? He didn't want to do what needed what he needed to do to win, you know, the, uh, you know, the fights in the Coliseum. So he like, you know what? I'm tired of him, man. Send him to the pits. Send him to the pits. You know, in the pits, you know, definitely wasn't the Coliseum. It was just this low grade dirty grimy just the worst weapons it's like the pits of hell he sent them there to fight you know what i'm saying where it's just real cutthroat you know what i mean where you dealing with monsters like for real like you know i'm talking like gloves with nails on them and all types of you know just the worst of the worst he sent them to the pits to fight you don't want to fight in the coliseum you gonna you, we gonna send you to the pits see if you survive there You know what I'm saying? And the likelihood of him surviving was very slim to none. But guess what? When he got sent to them pits, you know what I mean? You know, as wild as it was, as scary as it was, he came out of them pits a killer. You know what I'm saying? Spartacus wasn't made in the Coliseum. Spartacus was made in them pits when he went to them pits and was down there, you know what I'm saying? Doing his thing, killing, you know what I mean? He got real wicked down there. I'm just saying, like, on that, you know, because he had to survive, you know? So guess what? You know, when he survived the pits, he brought him back up to the Coliseum, and guess what? You know, the Coliseum was nothing. He went there and just destroyed everything, killed everybody you know that they put in front of him because guess what he learned in them pits when he went to them pits it turned them to something else and guess what bro that's what it is that's what we going through while we in this fire while we on this journey while we enduring we just in the pits right now when we going through stuff we in the pits but guess what this is this is this is our refining period you got to let the most high refine you You know, that's what he doing right now, bro. He want to see if you're going to keep the faith. He want to see if you're going to get back up. He want to see if you're going to still believe. You know what I'm saying? And when you believe, guess what, man? You're going to achieve, man. You're going to achieve everything, but you got to go through it. All right? So understand, man. You know, stay as disciplined as you can and keep going, keep enduring, and you're going to win in the end. All right? And that's my word, man. My name is Jay Santa. Holla at y'all later, man. Peace.